Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking into my top 3 linear switches of 2024. Now I have to admit, I'm not as deep into the switch game as some of the hardcore keyboard enthusiasts, but I've tried a fair few and these are my favorites so far. Even if you have a different taste, I'm sure at least one of these switches will catch your interest because the sound profiles are quite distinct from each other. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, the HMX Shinhai Linears. These switches are super good. They're clacky and light enough to type on without being too light. It's simply perfect, but it's kind of hard to describe. It's definitely on the clackier side, and I think many keyboard enthusiasts would really appreciate that. The 47 gram actuation force is perfect for a light typing experience, resulting to a smooth keystroke and the 63.5 gram bottom out force ensures that the switches don't feel too light providing just the right amount of resistance. The dual stage spring adds a unique feel to the switches giving a smooth and consistent keystroke. I love how the POM stem and polycarbonate top housing contribute to the satisfying clacky sound. These materials also add to the switch's durability, making them a great investment. The fact that they're pre-lubed means you get a smooth experience right out of the box. These switches cost 0.55 Australian dollars per switch, which falls under the mid-range category. If you're someone who enjoys a lively, clacky experience with every keystroke, the HMX Shinhai Linears are definitely for you. Next up, Let's talk about the Gatoron Oil Kings. These have been around for a while and have earned their place in the Hall of Fame of Linear Switches. The sound profile is the opposite of the Shinhai's. It's super deep and thaki, which I really love as well because it's great to switch things up and enjoy different sound profiles. The 55 gram actuation force is slightly heavier than the Shinhai's providing a firmer typing experience and the 65 gram bottom out force ensures that each keystroke feels solid. These heavier feel combined with deep talky sound makes typing on these switches a uniquely satisfying experience. The POM stem and the nylon housing contributes to the really good build quality of the Oil Kings. The stem is super sturdy which sets them apart from many other switches. The pre-looped features ensures a smooth and consistent keystroke right out of the box, adding to their premium feel. The price of these switches for a switch is at one Australian dollar, which is definitely on the more expensive side. But if you prefer a deeper, more thocky sound and a switch that feels premium, then the Gatoron Oil Kings are the way to go. And last but not least, we have the KTT Hisense switches. These are a perfect blend of clackiness and thockiness, if that's even a word. They have this creamy, clacky, slash thocky sound that's hard to describe, but super satisfying. The 45 gram actuation force makes these switches the lightest among the top picks, offering a breezy typing experience. The 55 gram bottom mount force provides the right amount of resistance to avoid accidental key presses and also contributes to the deep clacky sound. It also makes them comfortable for a long typing session as well. The combination of POM stem and polycarbonate top housing creates that deep unique sound. The sound profile as I said is deep and creamy and is super satisfying sitting perfectly between the clacky highs and the talky oil kings. They came pre-lubed as well but it had a little scratchiness so I had to re-lube it myself. And that was the best decision I had made, because it sounds really good. These switches used to cost more than the Shinhai's, but now they've dropped the prices to 0.37 Australian dollars per switch. So if you're looking for a balanced switch that gives you a bit of both worlds in terms of sound, the KDD Hisense are the perfect choice. And now that it's cheaper than ever, this is definitely my number one choice among the three. Alright, now that we've talked about each switch in detail, it's time for the sound test. I'll be using the Militrix Zoom 75 paired with XDA Profile keycaps, which have a similar sound profile to Cherry keycaps. 
The Zoom 75 has a full aluminium case with polycarbonate plate and gasket mounts. Now let's get into the sound test. And that's my top 3 linear switches of 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments which switch you like the most or if there's any other switch you think I should try. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with all my latest contents. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.